the junior from Bloomington, Indiana, stands ready. He runs up, he takes the kick, and he scores! A storybook season for the Phoenix has another chapter which will be written in Hollywood. Elon has won the opening round game of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, as I mean, as the story goes, they get another goal. Yeah. Time expires. What's, I mean, let's just, we'll take it piece by piece. What's going through your mind? Mm -hmm. Time expires, we're going into the PKs. What are you thinking right then? <laughs> uh, going into the penalties against Clemson, uh, penalties are a place we found ourselves before. Obviously, in the App State game, uh, we'd gone nine deep and only missed one. So that was something that we kind of knew that we could hang our hats on. And penalties is really just a test of skill and mental fortitude. And we do a lot of conditioning and work really hard to be in shape. So. That sort of helps with the fatigue at that point, which makes your skill a little bit better, and also provides sort of that mental strength that you can do this, you can pers persist, and all that stuff. So we just try and at half field, we're just trying to like crack jokes and like make each other laugh. And uh, some people are better at it than others, but <laughs> everyone's just trying to relax everyone because a penalty is just so simple, and the only way you can like mess it up as if you really choke. Well, fortunately for us, nobody on our team really choked. Being fourth on the list, I didn't think I was going to have a chance to win it, but uh, Clemson had missed two. Um, I didn't believe Nathan made a great save on one. Uh, the other was not very good at all. And um, so I just, I watched them miss theirs. And as I'm about to run up, I thought for a second, oh wait, if I hit this, do we win? And I realized that we did. Um, thankfully, that would have been awkward if I scored and we had one and I took my shirt off. But So I just went up there and you become really self-conscious of everything you're doing. So when everyone's eyes are on you, am I, what does my jog look like? Like, what do I do with my hands and different things like that? And that's the kind of stuff you have to overcome because that's basically how you choke. So I just started thinking about all the people who supported me. And in one sense, you don't want to let anyone down. I mean, the seniors on the team who this could be their last game ever, uh, our coaches who worked so hard for us, all the fans who had showed up, you don't want to let down the fans who'd been there for 110 minutes. That's the type of thing I try and think about, just trying to relax, just passing the ball into the corner. and. I mean, I barely remember anything after that moment. I just, as soon as I kicked it, I knew the goalie wasn't going to get to it. And again, I think I started taking my shirt off before it hit the net. But I mean, just that feeling when the ball went in the net and I knew we'd gotten farther as a team than we ever had before. And to do it in front of the fans was unbelievable. I guess we'll, we'll put the team aside for a second. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not easy obviously for an athlete to talk about themselves because mm -hmm. you're so centered on the team obviously but talk I mean if you talk about I mean, you didn't come in as a scholarship player mm -hmm. uh, and that's well, well known now talk yeah. about I mean, the moment when you found out you were going to be a Elon soccer scholarship athlete yeah um, well I guess that so the process I did come in freshman year as an uh, unrecruited student um, coach Powell had never heard of me at the time we just sort of randomly met uh, in the gym and I emailed them and emailed them and was hassling him about, hey, I'm pretty good at soccer, you should let me try out. And uh, so eventually I got that tryout and it was really intense and a lot of pressure and I was really nervous about it, but I just put my nose down and put in work as much as I could. And he really saw that work ethic, even if at that point I was a pretty raw talent to say the least. Um, but he invested in me then, and that investment really paid off this year. So when you look back on the 2013 men's soccer season, how do you describe it? What are, what are I mean, obviously you have the goals, you have all that. Mm -hmm. What does Jason Waterman, how does Jason Waterman sum it up if someone asks in passing <laughs> or quickly? Yeah, um, well, it's funny. If someone asked me about, it's like, hey, how'd last season go? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it went well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, but more specifically, I mean, I just remember the cohesiveness of the team, really, and just everyone working for each other. And 
no matter what the results were, I'd still have my teammates there. And I always remember the seniors who we had this year who some of them will never play again. Obviously, others are continuing to play professionally. Um, but I always remember my teammates, especially the ones who graduated from that season and look back upon it fondly.